Adrenomatic Excel Carry Over Lead. Brought to you by the Shrimp Troll. to 1975. Game 56, Las Vegas at Florida. Welcome back, baseball fans, to the 1972-75 Carryover League. we got another opening day in the National League. Last one for the National League. Uh, this time around, featuring teams that uh, picked in the top five in the draft for various reasons. Marlins picked second, Vegas five. Las Vegas at Florida, and uh, both teams, you know, it's funny, but there, there, there's a different scenario here. Vegas won their division two out of the last three years, but they're in a division of all four expansion teams, four of the eight expansion teams. So they see a path. Florida, unfortunately, is stuck in the National League East with Atlanta and Philadelphia and the Mets and at various points in the timeline from 69 to 84, all those teams are pretty good. So it is very tough for Florida without a farm system, because they don't exist until the 1990s, of course, to replicate those World Series accomplishments they had in the 90s and early 2000s with Beckett and Sheffield and all that stuff. So it's going to be very tricky for the Marlins, but it's a good series for them facing another expansion team. Um... Vegas um, will send Jim Lomborg out there today. He was with them a year ago. 72, 14-game winner, 283 ERA in 223 innings. And the Marlins will send Steve Arlen. Uh, they actually re-signed him from a 71 card into a 72 card. He did win 10 games with a 360 ERA. Did pitch 250 innings, and that's why they kept him. Hey, he was very he was on a very bad Padre team where he lost 21 games and yes, even the Padres didn't want him. So the Marlins took him aboard and this is what you would get near the end of the first uh, round of, of baseball this year. The final National League opening day between Vegas and Florida should be entertaining cuz of evenly matched kind of clubs here. Leading off for Vegas is Ken Berry. 2-8 is a ground on a short. Ken Boswell's a new acquisition. He grounds the first. Tommy Davis, 46, and he strikes out. Vic Davalillo, 53, pitcher B. Felipe Alou, 58K. Manny Moda, 63, second X. Second baseman is a 2-E32. And that's going to be a single. Off the Vegas defense. Now, i got to preface this. Vegas has tried to assemble the best defense in the entire league and have done a pretty darn good job of doing it. Of course, two of their better defensive players are on the bench today, Aurelio Rodriguez and Mike Anderson. Cullen's a two-second baseman and he surrenders a single. And runs are going to be a priority for both these squads because neither team has much power. Runner at first and two outs. Moda's a C-stealer, but Hodges has a minus one arm. I'll stay at first. It'll be Willie Montanez. 2-7 for Willie is a base at the center field. Moda will hold there, not getting thrown out a third. And Hal McRae, 2-4, rolls short. Top of the second. It's Juan Beniquez batting fourth because, well, frankly, nobody else can. 1-8, triple 108, single the rest. That's a triple. That's a good start. Gray Gross. 4-10, center X, it's probably be a sack fly. You got a 3-E-4 Melendez in center field, and it's a fly ball A. 1-0 visitors, Wes Parker, 66, flies to center. Tim Cullen, 46, is a K. Bottom of the second, it's Felix, you're putting me on. 2-5, no we're not, grounds the third. Chuck Goggin, very interesting player. 
Had only one year, was it this excellent one? One six flies the right. And with two outs, Ellie Rodriguez, 56, is a strikeout. Top of the third. Ron Hodges, 64, catcher's X. Your catcher is a 2E14, Ellie Rod. Makes the play. Easy Ed Brinkman, 2-8, is a base hit for Ed, the 203 hitter. <laughs> Speaking of glove, that's pure glove right there. Back up top to 1-E0, Ken Berry. Shame defense can't bat, right? Ken Berry walks, though. As soon as I say they're defense, they do something. Two on, one out for Ken Boswell. 67 lines the third, and with two outs, it's Tommy Davis. 66 flies to left. A problem Vegas has is is um, they don't have power, but they don't have speed either. And that is so, it, you know, if they start collecting a bunch of hits, they're not really going to first to third, stealing bases and whatnot to, to manufacture runs. They got a gift run there on a sack fly. Louis Melendez, 110, is a base hit. Back up top to Vic Davilio. 62, sky's the center. Philippe Ballou, 36, single dot, two on, one out for Manny Mota, 57 Ks. And Willie Montanez, 64, short X. And this is what they'd like to do, Vegas. They got 1E8, Ed Brinkman, the best defensive shortstop in our sport at the present time, makes the play. That's what Vegas wants to do. They want to get a lead and have you hitting the double plays. Juan Benitez, 2 6 short. Ray Gross, 1 5, second. And with two outs, Wes Parker, 1 7, center. Bottom of the fourth, it's Hal McCray, 6 12, pitcher. I'm so used to that being an injury to the pitcher because he's usually at DH, but he's actually playing third, so it's not. <laughs> Felix Mion, 57 is a K. And Chuck Coggin, okay, let's take a look at this guy now. 3 6, Chuck Coggin. <laughs> so Florida in the draft, as you can imagine, looking for a needle in the haystack they, they needed one to add one more player but they needed a guy who could somehow catch and play shortstop believe it or not and they found this guy chuck goggin second third catcher shortstop left field a 297 hitter and as far as i know the only year of his existence i don't recall any other seasons for chuck goggin in that gaudy 1973 Atlanta Brave offense. Ridiculous. Him and Dick Dietz were extra players on a team that had three guys hit over 40 home runs, if you can imagine that. Single one of 19, he gets it. Sometimes it's fun to talk, tell a long story about a little-known player, you know? And with two outs, it's Ellie Rodriguez. 4-4. Off the lawn board card. Here we are again. Homer, 1-19. Double the rest. Well, that's going to be a single because not many people have power. I'll go through that with two outs here. Louis Melendez, second X. Should a bit. Now we have a 2 here. A 2-E32 at second base. And an error on the E rating scores the run. You hate to see that if you're Vegas. You do not want to give up a run on your defense. We know Cullen's a two. He was one of the 10 second basemen Oakland employed in their World Series championship in 1972. That'll score a run. First and second, two outs for Vic Davilio. 2-8, pops to first. We are talking about power, right? I'll go through Florida. No, no, no. Willie Montanez, Hal McCray. That's it. The numbers four and five hitters in Florida have power. Now I'll go through Las Vegas for you. Nope. Nope. N yes. Yes. Nope. Nope. Uh-uh. No way. And no... F oh, Ed Brinkman's got power. This just in. Ed Brinkman's got power, folks, which is good to know. Maybe I should let him clean up with that 203 average. Nope. Only Tommy Davis and Juan Benitez, the number three and four hitters, very rare to have a baseball game where only five players combined have power. It's extremely rare based on how we draft, but Florida's got some good batting averages in here. Vegas has some great defense in there. And we got a 1-1 game in the fifth. And it will be Wes Parker. Or no, it'll be Tim Cullen. 56, bounce to second X. You got me on at 2-E-10, makes the play. 
Ron Hodges, 1-8. Base hit. Ed Brinkman hit one of those homers. 4-10, short X. Uh, Chuck Goggin is a 40-48 at short. That's not very good. But he gets a ground ball C. And with two outs, Ken Berry. 46 is a strikeout. Steve Arlen. A triple and a sack fly is always given up. Bottom of the fifth. Let's pause a moment for station. Identification. This is the Shrimp Trawler video channel. Este es el canal de videos de camaroneros. All right. It'll be Felipe Alou. 2 8 Bingle. E Steeler. Great. Manny Moda. 46, off the lawn board card. Double one of 12 is a double. Second and third, you, you almost have to play it up all year long if you're Las Vegas. Every run is precious. So, Willie Montanez. 2-4, grounds first, runners hold. Still up for McCray. 53, right X. And another non-one. So, Vadiquez is out there today as a three with Mike Anderson on the bench. They had the great defense, they're just not using it. 3-10 e in right field, and that's going to be a two-run single. Just can't do that. You can't allow these the rare hits off the defense to allow runs to score, and it's 3-1. to one. Felix Mion, 59. Short X. And Ed Brinkman's a 1-E8. So immediately, we dust the guy off the bases to redeem our defensive woes there. 3-1 game. Steve Arlen made to look like Christy Mathewson today against this beleaguered Vegas offense. And three-finger brown is Jim Longborg. Ken Boswell, 1-3. Oh, boy. Let's take a look at him. So we got this Ken Boswell. He's pretty much at the end of his rope here, but they needed a left-handed bat and an infielder and a guy who get on base and hit and run. And Boswell does all that. He just doesn't have any power. 1-3, triple 1-17, of 17, gets it. Uh, they're going to play it up. Tommy Davis, 1-7, double and 8 base hit, gets the run. It's 3-2. to two. Playing back now for... Oh, Tommy Davis is still a B, B stealer. For Juan Benitez, 1-12, fouls to the catcher. Gray Gross, new addition, flies to right. And with two outs, do you want to steal to get in scoring position? No. West Parker, 37's a walk. That's why. Nair in scoring position with two outs. For Tim Cullen, 64 is a walk off the Arlen card. Arlen is a 7. Lomborg's an 8. The bases are loaded with two outs and a 3-2 affair. Ron Hodges, 37 is a strikeout. It stays 3-2. Bottom of the 6th, our boy Chuck Goggin, 59, walks. Ellie Rodriguez, 2-4, is a 6, 4, 3, double play. Now that's some good Vegas defense. Louis Melendez, 37, single on a 3, cannot get it. 3-2 three, game in the 7th. Now, can the Marlins improve their defense for the final three frames? And the answer is, you know, they can. Uh, yeah, they got some guys. I know a guy who knows a guy. Uh, we can get better at third base. We'll get Philippe Alou out of there. How McCray go to DH? Who's playing shortstop? Who was? Our boy Goggin. Yeah. We'll get Goggin out of there. He has a good stick with bad defense. All right. 3-2 in the seventh. They got some defense behind Arlen. Starter seven. You know, you might want to protect the guy so he can't lose if uh, Vegas rallies. So I'm I'm thinking one batter and I will hook him. Ed Brinkman. One six lines out. Back up top to Ken Berry. Sixty nine center and with two outs. It's Ken Boswell. Thirty five bounces to short. Stretch time here in Florida. We are enjoying, of course, the brilliant. Buena Vista Social Club LP from Cuba. Let me throw down one of my favorites. Iliad Zachoa and, and the Cartman, El Carretero. I love this one. Give this some volume here. Oh, beautiful. Saw this guy live too once. Fantastic. Bottom of the seventh, three, two. Vic Davalio will lead off. 
67, flies a left. Celerino Sanchez, 2-7, rolls a third. And Manny Mota, 57, is a strikeout. We go to the eighth. Arlen's still dealing. 3-2 game. I smell extra innings, folks. I don't know why. I just feel it. Tommy Davis, 48's a walk. And that could very well do it. Yeah, that's going to do it. Arlen, 7 and a batter. Can't lose. I like that. Poor guy lost 21 games. Give him a break, man. So, they'll bring a lefty in. Tom Bergmeier comes trotting out of the Marlin pen. Bergmeier. Play with the Twins, Royals, Red Sox. 5 and 8, 308 ERA, 76 innings in 1975. And he'll face Juan Beniquez. 53 flies the right X. The right fielder is Mota, a 3 E2. Eddie makes the catch. It's a fly ball A, though. we got a guy in scoring position. For Gray Gross, who hits lefties okay. 62, pitcher. And with two outs, it's Wes Parker. 1-6 is a walk. And it's our boy Tim Cullen with two on and two outs. 2-8, two, let's take a look at the Tim Cullen card. This is why, if you're wondering, the Oakland A's won the 1972 World Series. It's because of Tim Cullen. They needed five second basemen on that team. They had Dick Green. They had Larry Brown. They all got hurt, including this guy. I don't... Yeah. I think Gene Tennis played some second base for him that year. But anyway, Tim Cullen. Big moment here. 2-8. Double one to two. Single dot dot. We got a tie game with two outs in the eighth. My goodness. Batting for Ron Hodges. It'll be very foot. Runners in the corners. 47 on Bergmeier is a K. Again, like I said, I smell extra innings, folks. And it could be a long one if it gets that far. My goodness. Lomborg's a starter eight. He will continue. 3-3 three, three affair. Willie Montanez. 55's a walk. Walks a lot of lefties. Hal McCray looking for a double play ball. 48's a strikeout. Felix putting me on. Does he do a hit and run here? With the He's going to do a hit and run with one out. Runner has to steal the roll of a 7. Runner rolls a 14. Runner is out. Oh, boy. And Mian will swing away now if, with nobody on board. Hit by the pitch. And now you got Mario Guerrero rounding this short. Well. Turn the volume down a little bit now. Well, well, well. Florida blows the save. We go to the ninth. Bergmeier's a relief three. He will continue to face the dangerous Ed Brinkman. 210 for Ed. Let's take a look at the card, folks, because there's a story behind it. And that is, in 1972, if you were if you guessed who was in the top ten of MVPs of the American League, don't leave out Ed Brinkman. He's number nine. MVP. Most valuable player. In the American League, in 1972, he hit 203 with six home runs. But he's a 1-8 e at shortstop, and the Tigers won the American League East. And so the sports writers thought a lot of that. 2-10 is double 1-3. Base hit for Easy Ed Brinkman, a good base runner. Well, decent base runner. He's a 12. Back up top to Ken Berry. 3-11 flies to right. And then batting for Ken Boswell. Let's go Mike Anderson, because we think we're going to get a turnaround here. Yeah, Mike Anderson will fetch a righty. I guess that's Orlando Pena. Yeah. We'll show you both guys. First, Mike Anderson was, uh, I believe, with the Phillies. Anderson, 73, hit 254. But Vegas loves the defense. A 1-E7 with a minus one arm in right field. And the pitching change, Orlando Pena. Guy had a nice career for the Cardinals, I think, in the 60s. Then he disappeared with injuries. Then he resurfaced at age 39 and 73. With a fantastic season with a 218 ERA and 62 innings. It's like, where were you, Orlando? My goodness, that's outstanding. He will come on and face Mike Anderson, runner at first, one out. Here's the pitch. 
two four center and with two outs it'll be Tommy Davis one eight is a grounder too short well, we need a third baseman, and that would be Aurelio Rodriguez. And he could come in for either Tommy Davis or Benitez or Gross or Barry. Benitez leads off the next inning. We like Gross, so Tommy Davis is the odd guy out. Okay. So Benitez goes to designated hitter, which is crazy to think about because he's known to be a great defensive outfielder. But Gross will be a 2 in left. Ken Barry's a 1 -E 0 in center. Uh, Mike Anderson's a one in right, and Relly Rodriguez is a one at third. If you thought Florida had a hard time scoring runs, it's going to get a lot worse. Bottom of the ninth, Jim Lonborg. Really think we should think about getting him out of here. He put two guys on in the eighth. He was once on the hook for a loss. Let's get him out of there with a no decision. And we'll go to go to uh, Fred Sherman. Well, come on in the ninth inning. Sherman has pitched for the Tigers, the Astros, the Expos. Good little lefty. Gets lefties out well. Uh, uh, 73, 413 ERA in 61 innings. Gets a little dinged up versus righties. But we'll come on in the bottom of the ninth. Trying to get this thing into extras. And he will deal with... The only guy left on the bench for either team is Jose Pagan for Florida. It'll be Ellie Rodriguez leading off. 57's a K. Louis Melendez, 1-9. Oh, let's take a look at Louis Melendez. Was a Cardinal. 73 at 267. Decent defense in center field. Well, for this team he is. They're not nearly as good defensively as, the other, as their opponent. But uh, Louis has a nice job here. 1-9, double one to 11. And he's on second base. The winning run. It's back up top to Vic Davileo. Let's take a look at Vic before he swings. He has no problem whatsoever against lefties. Matter of fact, he wins the game on one, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, might think about walking him, but Sherman's good at getting lefties out. So it's battle royale here. Fred Sherman, Vic Davileo with a runner at second and one out. Here's the pitch. And it's a 1-8. The Davilio is the wiener. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. 1-8, double dot dot. Fred Sherman, back-to-back -back doubles. And Las Vegas loses this one. The Marlins jumping all over each other. Have a winning record. They're undefeated. They're in first place. <laughs> it's a great feel-good story for them. And frankly, Vegas, you know, they're still going to have a reasonably good chance of winning their division with, you know, Arizona, Colorado, and Portland. But that is your final today. It is four to three final. Orlando Pena came one in the ninth. He'll get the win. Fred Sherman gets the loss. And we'll give you the results of this best of five series at the end of the video, so stay tuned. All right, folks, you're going to pick it up right in game two. Florida wins game one. Game two, it's going to be Ken Brett for Las Vegas. Ed Figueroa, nice little pick up in the draft, uh, taken away from the Angels and the Yankees, uh, which means it's going to mess up the Yankees' rotation when they get to that World Series era in the late 70s. Figueroa does okay in his rookie debut. Six and two-thirds, six hits and three runs. And they get to Ken Brett, who had a really rough start. Six and two-thirds, 11 hits, and seven runs. You have a three-run homer by Manny Moda in the seventh inning. was a difference of this game. Florida boasted three homers. We complained about the power, but it happened today. Because Hal McCray got one, and so did Jose Pagan off the bench. It's a 7-3 final. The Marlins win two straight at home. Can they get a road sweep in game three? And the answer is no. Because the Las Vegas squad has Woody out there, folks. Woody Fryman. Working on a perfecto through five. Making quick work out of this Marlin team. But then they get a double by Louis Melendez in the sixth. And a double by Moda in the seventh. Ninth inning, they score a run on the ground ball. and But the Mr. Fryman was supported with eight runs. A three-run homer by Wes Parker in this game, which is good to see them get some power out of him. 
Rich Trose then took the loss, the starter for the Marlins. So break up Vegas. They now have a win. They've won one game this year. So game four, can they even it up in a game four? It's an interesting game. Finally, some offense from both clubs. Eduardo Rodriguez for the Marlins against Blue Moon Odom for Vegas. See, Vegas has some players, folks. They're just lacking in power and base stealing and base running. Uh, and this one's all over the place. You get a two-run homer in the first by Willie Montanez, but then they give the lead right back. An error by Hal McRae playing third base, unfortunately. Two unearned runs is two to two. Then Florida adds two more in the second inning on four singles and a walk off of Blue Moon, who's struggling. But then Vegas comes right back with a walk, single, single sack fly. It's 5-4. And we're thinking, how? where's all this offense coming from suddenly? And there's Vegas in the fourth inning. A single and a stolen base by Tommy Davis. A walk and a single. We got a 5-5 tie. But then in the sixth inning... Uh, Blue Moon's finally pulled. They go to uh, Danny Frazella. He walks a guy or two. You get a double by Philippe Alou at a bad time. It is an 8-5 game. Uh, you get Florida goes through the bullpen. A scoreless sixth by Reynolds. Segui, a scoreless inning and a third. Bergmeier, two-thirds of an inning. In the ninth inning, the Vegas squad made it interesting. Down three, you get a walk, single, strikeout, and a single, but then two more ground balls. It's an 8-6 to six final. Orlando Pena does get a save in that one. Blue Moon Odom, not a good day. Five and two-thirds, ten hits, eight runs. Eduardo Rodriguez somehow survived five innings to qualify for a win. Wasn't pretty. Five innings, seven hits, five runs, three earned, four walks, no strikeouts. Still looking for his first Major League strikeout. Maybe it'll come next week. But break up your Florida Marlins... Hey, it's a good start for them in an in a era where nothing is expected of them. They won three out of four to start their year. Hope you're enjoying the Carryover League. We'll see you next time.